in the 5G, I'm sorry, no, back at that point it was the the full body scanners at the airport were going to kill us with radiation. So Alex Jones and Infowars and others were pushing the body scanners are going to kill you. So then the, the alternate explanation for what happened was, oh yeah, the towers were taken down by a direct energy weapon. So the big fear was direct energy weapon and five and uh, radiation sickness. So here we are 19 years later, the next 9-11 event, and instead of calling it fake, instead of pointing at empty hospitals and dancing nurses, InfoWars is saying, oh, the 5G towers are going to kill you, and the 5G towers are direct energy weapons. It's the same story. And if the body scanners didn't kill anybody, then the 5G towers aren't going to kill anybody. But what I'm pointing out here is that this is how they hide. Somebody says it's a slow kill. That's a bullshit answer. It's a slow kill. It's like, how slow? It's like the people who say, oh, it's the end of the world. Well, when does it end? Well, it's a tribulation. It might, it might last a few centuries. If it's a slow kill, then it's not a kill. Life is a slow kill. What do you mean by slow kill? Five years, ten years, twenty years, forty years, sixty years? Show me the victims. If it's a slow kill, then it's not even a scary thing. I mean, come on, that's such a weak answer. So you're afraid of it? You know, you're more likely to die from, I guess, sunlight. You can get dehydrated, get a really bad burn. You know, that could kill you, the sun. But 5G towers are not a threat. And so what they've done here is they've convinced a lot of people to be afraid of 5G towers. And then when, when they come to their senses, they'll say, okay, that's ridiculous, but I'm still afraid of them because they can use these to track us now. It's like, what do you mean? Like, so some people think, oh, well, they're going to use the, the fake virus to get people to take a vaccine that fills you full of nanobots that can make you a remote-controlled bot, and the 5G towers are instrumental in this. And I'm like, okay, look, they don't need nanobots and 5G towers to control you. They just go on the TV and tell you to stay the hell home. They tell you to shut down your businesses, and you do it. That didn't require any complex form of uh, technology. It was just mind control as usual. DJ Black says, relax, we don't agree on everything. Uh, I'm not going to relax, and even if you told me to, I, I mean, even if I cared what you thought, I probably wouldn't. Like, really, at this point, anybody pushing 5G phobia is helping to, I think, guardrail the truth. It's like the same people, like, why, okay, look, if you're going to be afraid of 5G towers, why don't you start protesting full body scanners? Why not start from the beginning? Be like, hey, the, fi the body scanners in the airport are going to kill us. Oh, flip phones can give you brain tumors. You've got to warn people about the flip phones, the body scanners, and then work the way up to 5G. It's just like, it's like fashionable right now. 5G so hot right now. The people who are warning you about 5G don't give a damn about the airport body scanners and you know cumulatively you're getting more radiation you're getting more whatever from that anyway the 5g phobics are a joke i'm sorry well i'm not really sorry i mean you can be afraid of it if you want to i'm just saying that you're being clowned there are so many things you could be afraid of alien abductions cattle mutilations chupacabras but you choose to be afraid of your 5G towers. Okay, one more thing. Because if you're a 5G phobic, you're full of crap. 